Hey there, greetings everybody. I want to welcome you here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're here to do the episode we do every Sunday called This Week. Um, normally it comes out around noon, somewhere in that time period, but uh, today it's going to be very late. It might be as late as 7 o'clock. I've got I've uh, just recently started a job as some of you know and some of the stuff that I've had to do is Taken up so much time that I haven't been able to do a lot of this prepping until today. So Anyways, we're I'm ready to go with the episode and I hope you're ready to listen. So we've got um, Other than this show which comes out Sunday. We also have two music commonalities compared which is a show that Ben ha suggested and we kind of talked back and forth and we defined what we wanted to do here and what we're doing is he's going to give me two albums that have some something about them or not, maybe not necessarily two albums they could be two guitar players could be two drummers could be two bass players could be uh, two different bands with two different albums could be anything but they do have something in common and that's what we're working on here so the two albums he's given me, or the two bands that he's given me, or the two, in this case, two drummers, yeah, two drummers he gave me are Ringo Starr of the Beatles fame and Charlie Watts of the Rolling Stones. So there's a lot of commonality here. First of all, the two bands were the two biggest bands at that time period when they came out in the 60s, roughly the same time one and two um, a lot of uh, poppy stuff to it the Beatles may be a little bit more um, bubblegumish if you might want to call it that and the stones may be a little bit more wanting a little more than just your bubblegum but other than that uh, pretty uh, pretty well-known bands I don't think we're gonna be talking about something that nobody's listened to before and so we'll be featuring Ringo Starr the drummer and Charlie Watts and we'll be talking about the two of them and comparing them so that's what we're going to be doing for the two musical commonalities when we do that show tonight so I hope you can come and join that one the next show up is called look back at a classic rock album this comes out Monday at 8 o'clock it's going to stay on its time schedule the album we're doing this week is currently on the playlist it's been around about five months Usually I wait till they've been on the playlist for about five months and if they make it that far then and they're, they're an older album then I generally do a look back at a classic rock album on them and the one we're doing is Marillion's Clutches at Straws. A really good album for those of you who um, like Marillion you already know that. For those of you who are discovering Marillion this is arguably their best one um, and it's the last one to feature Fish. So. We'll be doing that album for Monday night's look back at a classic rock album. The next show that we normally do is called Ranking the Songs Off an Album. I'm doing something a little different this time. It's not a studio album. Um, and I've not done any live ones where I've done any ranking anywhere. So this will be the first of it. And I picked arguably my favorite live album. It's up there. If it's not my favorite, it's pretty close. And we're talking about kiss alive their first uh, live album we'll be ranking all 16 tracks on this according to how i like them a pretty tight group of songs so no really bad ones a couple that i'm just completely burned out on but mostly stuff that uh, is really good really strong this is arguably one of their best if not their best album okay for favorites this week we're going to be doing bass players i'm going to pick my 25 favorite bass players rank them according to how i like them and i want to make it clear that this isn't a definitive bass player ranking i'm not saying this guy's at the top because he's the best and i'm not saying this guy's in 25th because he's the worst i'm not saying anything like that i'm just saying these are the way i like them uh, in the case of some of them, they're not really great bass players, but I, I really like some aspect of their style. So uh, we'll be doing, uh, yeah, 25 favorite rock bass players. I'm not going to be going into jazz or anything like that. There was one guy I put on there, and then I thought, no, nah, he's, he's a jazz bass player, and I'm not putting him in this list. So 
and I will give you some honorable mentions at the end as well. The next show up that we normally do comes out on Thursday night. It's called Thursday Night. It's called What's New. I choose an album that came out in 2024 and you just kind of review it. The same kind of thing as I do with look back at a classic rock album, only this is a brand new album. And the album I've chosen to do, of course, is going to probably be the tangent to follow Polaris. That's the one I'm thinking of doing, but I do have another one in mind, so I may go to that one, but this is the one that I'm planning to do. Next up, and you're, you're probably gonna see lots of this one being done by lots of people out here, so. Um, enjoy it it's uh supposedly a pretty damn good album so the next uh show comes out friday night and it's back after a couple weeks hiatus after the first uh first round we did eight episodes two semi-finals one final this is a episode that ben puts uh puts the content out for me and i listen to it and then i rank them according to how i like them so he's going to give me four albums and those four albums, I will listen to all four, and then I will rank them. And in this case, three of them I own, so it'll be it'll be a little bit easier on me because I'm a little more familiar with them. But he's given me some excellent albums for the, and we're going to call this round two. So this will be the second set of ranking the albums video, uh, videos, and we'll do exactly the same way we did with the first one: eight episodes followed by two semifinals with eight. Uh, with four bands, in, uh, four albums in each of the semifinals, and then a finals. Um, and then the um, the last video that's scheduled to be done this week is called My Playlist. That I've decided with this one. Originally, I was it was just going to be a one-off, and then I decided I liked it, so then I started doing it every two weeks. But not enough changes on my playlist, and not enough stuff changes over a course of a couple of weeks to make it worth doing another one. So we're gonna do this once a month. Should be enough changes to make it interesting. And yeah, so currently Hawkwind is the band at the top of the playlist. Not necessarily my favorite album right now, but it's been around the longest. I think it's uh, about six months now for this one on my playlist. So we'll be doing uh, that uh, for next Saturday, probably around four o'clock, we'll have it out. Um, so I hope to see you on those episodes. So I may put in the um, mini series that I'm currently putting together, which is going to be on Led Zeppelin, and we're going to get the Zep. We're going to we're going to have what they call a Zepathon, according to Jack Black. So we'll be having a Zepathon, this mini series. I'd like to get it out there this week. But for sure, it will come out um, the 2-4 weekend uh, because I have that extra day off. It allows me to do more stuff, and I'm going to try and put that mini series out. It'll be a five-parter. I've picked five, my five favorite Led Zeppelin albums, and we're going to do a little bit of um, a little bit of some stuff. But uh, I, I'll explain it when I start doing it. So, yeah, basically, we're going we're going to um, list my favorite song and then my fa my favorite vocal, my favorite. Uh, guitar my favorite uh, drum my favorite bass part on each of the albums I may do something else too uh, but this at this point that's kind of where I'm going with it so I hope uh, I hope I can get that out at latest next week I actually had planned to put it out this week but uh, you know sometimes you don't always get to control what you want to control so anyways uh, coming up in the future not really anything planned at the moment um, possibly um possibly a monthly series but it'll depend because i'm in the process of possibly moving again and once i move then i will be able to pile out a lot more stuff because i'll be a little bit more organized not as organized here as i would like to be so anyways i hope uh, i hope you will enjoy some of the shows i'm putting out this week if you like the content, please hit the like and subscribe. That's much appreciated. Any comments or suggestions or anything you would like to see, you can put that in the comments section below. And we will see you throughout the week. So take care and have a good one. Bye.